Hi folks, it's Steve here from Analytics and actually what I want to do today is talk to you about logical query processing in SQL Server. So logical query processing is all about the sequence in which code runs within SQL Server and as you become more uh, proficient and know more um, syntax um, in SQL Server this becomes a lot more important because you can um, end up uh, creating incorrect logic and generating errors within SQL Server. So, um, so it's a pretty important topic and again it's fairly, with many things with SQL Server and analytics, it's pretty simple, you just need to be aware of it and um, then just practice. Okay, so it's going to, this is going to be a pretty quick um, demonstration. Um, first of all I'll talk about keyed in uh, versus logical query orders, then I'll give you a practical demonstration which will also um, and as a part of that you can also download the code from my website and follow along and then I'll just talk about some additional resources that you may find useful as well. Okay so the keyed in order is essentially the order in which you would write SQL code so the order is you know, typically select from where group by having uh, and order you know for a, for a relatively simple sort of query however it's processed in a different order so it's processed um, with the uh, from syntax first, then where, group by, having, select, and then order. So if we look at a, um, a piece of code, it first processes here in the middle, then down in sequential order, and then jumps up to the top, and then finishes off with the have and order um, key. So I'll just do a practical demonstration. If you want to follow along, you can jump across to my website, analyticsinaction.com forward slash logical query processing with a dash between the words and download the database here and then um, so we'll just do that and then I'll also download the um, snippet of code as well that'll just take a second to, to come down and I've actually got two of them coming down by mistake there so let's just jump into that. Oh, let's just actually open it up. So this is it here, show it in the folder. And you just copy this and into your um, backup file within SQL Server. So then you jump into SQL Server and go click on database, restore database. You can just restore it off a um, device, navigate to your backup folder. We're going to add the um, the file. So this my backup file is located in pro, um, this directory here. Most likely yours will be. You drop your the um, the back file that you just download off my site into this folder. Click OK. Click OK. And then that has restored, that has um, created the database that we need. And then now we'll just grab the code. Oh, it looks like the code hasn't come down for some reason. Let's just. Oh, yeah, here we go. And this is the code that we downloaded. So, what we're going to do is we're going to jump in, create a new query. Just make sure it's. Um, uh, the you've got the available data databases set as logical processing although my this use code here will automatically jump across to it so if we have a um, so let's just jump straight in here so if we've got a bit of code like this if we run it that all works well however if we have say um, a alias here and this alias is basically renaming a column and that happens up here in the select statement so this year um, code here has got an alias this column here has got an alias associated of birth year and if we try and run this we'll get an error see there's an invalid column name and the reason for that is comes down to the logical um, order in which the query is being processed. So what it's saying is 
it's let's jump back and we'll just lock the order here. So the where clause is being uh, processed as after the from clause. The select clause hasn't been run yet and that's where that alias is being created. So by the time it gets to this where clause it does the and statement and refers to the birth year um, column but that hasn't but the code actually hasn't got um, uh, alias that column yet therefore that's why it errors out. So if we want that query to work we'd actually have to use the original code in there. So rather than using the alias because the alias hasn't actually been processed yet we use the birth year execute it and then the code runs. So that's just a, a practical example of um, why it's important to be aware of the logical um, order in which queries process. So that's pretty much um, it. It's just a matter of getting out there and um, and practicing. Um, if you found this tutorial useful um, definitely go across and have a look at uh, my website. There's lots of information on uh, all aspects of SQL Server integration services, writing code, reporting services, predictive modeling, um, uh, analysis services, so things like um, data mining and then also there's some uh, data warehousing uh, stuff there as well. And if you're watching this on YouTube um, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you do that uh, every time I produce another video you'll get a, uh, a update.